Okay, now I want to consider another question. And this one is John 2001, question 3. Now, how can we really solve this very question? But given that P equal 1 plus 2 and Q equal 1 minus 2, evaluate P squared minus Q squared all over 2P Q. Now, how can we really do this very well? It is quite simple. It is very simple. Now, to do this, let us solve. We want to solve this very question. Now, we have uh, this is what we have as P equal 1 plus 2. Okay, Q is equal 1 minus 2. Now, to do this, let us take this. Okay, P squared minus Q squared all over 2PQ. This is what we have. Okay, now we were given the value of P and P there is 1 plus 2. Okay, how to square it? Minus Q is given as 1 minus 2. Okay, I will have to also square it. Okay, now the next thing there we have 2. The next thing there we have 2PQ. It means that we still maintain the same value. We still maintain the same value. For P, we have 1 plus 2. Okay, that's what we have there for P. Okay, now why for Q? We still have 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2. That we will have for Q. Now, for this, now what can we do? We need to expand this. We need to expand this. Okay, the same thing applies to the denominator. We also expand. Now, to do that, let us see. I want to do this one first. This one is giving me 1 plus 2. Okay, we also have 1 plus 2. Now, to expand this very one, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2. 2 is not being 2. 1 times 2 is not being 2. Okay, plus times plus is plus. So 2 times 2 is 2 will be 1 4. Of course, it is a rational number or perfect square. Okay, now for this one, I have 1. And uh, remember, it's a common sort. It's going to give me 2 root 2 plus root 4 is going to give me, uh, it's going to give me 2 because it's a perfect square. It is not a sort. You take a look, this one is not a sort. Okay, now what can we do? What can we do? Need that for this one, I have 1 plus, okay, let me see proceed here. Let me see proceed, proceed here. No, this one has no roots. This one has no roots. Therefore, they are common. They are common terms. Okay, you need that the terms here are the same. See, they have the roots. They, have, they have the same terms. Okay, now 1 plus 1 is going to be 3 plus 2. Root 2. Okay, you mean that at the end, at, the, at this very one here, this very one here, which is the first part, we are going to have uh, 3. Okay, 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 let me just take it from here. Let me just take it from here. When I expand this, I have this very one. Okay, let me just consider that. Okay, let me put it there. As you can see, I have 1 plus root 2 plus root 2. Therefore, the first part, the first part plus root 4. Okay, now I also do the same thing on that, which is this way. Okay, the second one as well. I need to also do the same thing to the second one, okay, before I consider on that. Now I also expand this very one. Okay, let me consider this very one. Okay, if I do here, I'll have one. Go minus root two. Okay, I also have one minus root two because they appear the same time. Okay, therefore I have to repeat it twice. I have to multiply this one, become 1. Okay, multiply this one, become, okay, minus root 2. Multiply it, become minus root 2. Minus times minus plus. Okay, do this one, become what? Plus root 4. I mean that for this one here, I mean for this one here, okay, since we have uh, more than two terms here, I have to introduce a bracket to the second one. Okay, become 1 minus root 2. Okay, minus root 2. Okay, we have plus root 4. That is for the numerator. Now let us consider the denominator. Let us consider the denominator. We have 1. Okay, okay, this one is going to give us, this one is, uh, this one is difference of 2 squared. Therefore, for this, I'm going to have 2. Okay, I have uh, 1 squared. Okay, minus 2 times 2. Square to two square. That's what I have there. This is what I have here. This is what I have here at the denominator. 
at the denominator. Okay, now let me proceed here. I want to proceed and uh, analyze the numerator. We are going to analyze the and let me move this part. Let me move this part. Because we don't need any more. We don't need any more. Okay, let me now analyze this solution. Now let me now analyze it by coming to the this part here. Okay. For this very one, this first one, it will give me here, it will give me one, it will give me one. I'm going to have one plus here is a common sort, it will give me two root two. For that one, plus two. This one will come plus because the root of four is going to be two. It's going to give us two. Therefore, this one will come plus two. Okay. Now let me also consider the second one. For this one, remember I told you, see there are more than two terms, you have to introduce your bracket, you have to introduce your bracket. Now for this one, I also have here, I still have my bracket, I have one minus, this one will come on so I have minus two root two. Okay, the root of four is going to remain two. Okay, now for this part, okay, I have one at the denominator. Okay, one square is one. This square will give the root, therefore I will have two. Okay, I will have two in that very part. Okay, for the denominator. Now let me now please go to uh, conclude the numerator. I need to see resolve the numerator. One plus two is going to give me three. Okay, I have three there. Okay, this one will have two root two. Okay, now let me open the bracket here. Okay, okay, let me also if I have a bracket again, I'll have one. Plus three, become three. Okay, minus now. Okay, now we come on minus two root two. Okay, for that second one. Okay, now we still have the. Okay, I can finalize this one here. It means that this one minus this will give me minus one for the one bracket. Okay, I will have two minus one. Okay, this is what I have at the denominator. Okay, now let me now see go on. Uh, I need to open bracket here. So it will be three. Plus two root two minus three. This minus will affect become plus become two root two. Okay. Now for the denominator, remember we multiply. We have minus two. Okay. Now you know that three can minus three because they, are, they do not have roots. They therefore they are they they, are, they have the common terms. They have the common terms. Okay. There's no root here. There's no root here. Three minus three is going to be zero. Therefore this one can go. This one can go. We now have two root two plus two root two. Two root two plus two root two. We have uh, we have uh, we are going to have four root two. We have four root two. That is what we have there. We have four root two. Okay. Now for this one here, I can say four root two. Okay. We have four root two. That is say two root two plus two root two. Okay. We have a common solve. Okay, for this one, come from root 2 all over minus 2. Okay, it simply means that for this one, it simply means that 4, okay, divide 2, that is a 2 share 4, it will be 2. And here is a visible plus, 4 divided minus is minus, okay, become minus 2 root 2. Now, um, this one will be my final solution to this very question. Now, from the function, I think we have D at the right function. D is the right option to this very problem. Okay, I think at this point we can conclude here. Yeah, we can conclude at this very point. We can say the we can now conclude at this very point and have a and have a break at this very point so that we can consider the next question in this very in this very what in this very platform on this very platform so that we can consider another question the platform so that uh, we move on. Okay, now in this very one we are going to conclude here and we already picked our options and the option was D. The option was D. Okay, now please don't forget to join me on my page to be John Wu Online Mathematics and also subscribe to my YouTube channel Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best. Thank you. God bless you.